it's stretching, I think, right about here. Now you can see the distance here and the distance here is not the same. And that's what you want to try to do is make sure that you don't have everything going this distance, this distance, this distance, because that takes away your random evenness that you're going for. I'm also going in a slightly different direction than both of these veins are going. It doesn't mean that I can't kind of like double back and kind of go in that area. Once I get these veins laid in, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more um, definition. did. And again, I'm going to give it a very mild blend, just enough to take the brushiness out of it. I don't think I like that one. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. If you do something you don't like, just wipe it away. If it's uh, been there for a while and it's being a little tenacious, give it a little squirt with the spritzer bottle. It's just got water in it and all it'll do is take away what you wanted it to take away because you've got that isolation layer that is protecting everything else underneath. I don't like the distance between right here and right there because they look very equidistant to me. So I'm going to add something over in this area. I'm going to connect it to this one. Here, where I've made this other joint, I'm going to go ahead and let it split off and make another vein. Does this really happen? Almost everything really happens in real marble. Whether or not it looks real, it's another story. But you can be the judge when you see this done. <laughs> 